there's been a sort of a prevailing thought out there that the governance or the transparency from Asia, China, emerging markets, however you want to sort of classify it, is not up to the same sort of, you know, same ilk, I guess, as, as developed markets. Can you maybe just talk a bit about transparency and how you get sufficiently comfortable with the data and what's being said to you from the management teams and that you actually believe them? Yes. So that is actually the crucial uh, test of investing in the emerging market. Because emerging market uh, give you a higher return, but it also comes with uh, a higher risk. Sure. And what you mentioned is uh, the key point of you have to do the homework to really parse through a lot of noises and uh, uh, a lot of data to really see what is uh, the truth behind the data that you're being given. As you mentioned, governance is probably the key linkage of uh, what you listen to and also the reality that you see. Sure to make sure that the gov uh, company can actually govern itself and that there is a, uh, a check and balance on the management team to make sure that the management team is actually working for the shareholders. Mm -hmm. So uh, transparency and also the governance tends to be the weaker link of many emerging markets uh, uh, companies. But having said that, there are actually a lot of positive traits in emerging market companies that we find very appealing. For example, the companies that we uh, uh, invest in, some of them are run by the founders, the entrepreneurs. So that entrepreneurial spirit that usually is there the most when the founder is running the company, they tend to have a lot of equity still in the company. That's a positive factor. Mm -hmm. We like management team that have a, a lot of skin in the game, but that skin in the game has to be governed in a way that is for the benefit of all the shareholders. Mm -hmm. And these are the things that you can observe, you can actually uh, do diligence, and you can validate by watching the management team's behavior over a long time to make sure that they are delivering what, what, on what they say. And that's why investing in emerging market is a long-term uh, commitment. When you mention the data, that's another point that we put a lot of focus on, which is you can actually validate. If the company says they are doing so-and-so kind of business, by talking to the vendors, the employees, and clients, you can actually triangulate to see that their business plan is in fact working out as advertised. And that's the hard work that uh, a fundamental stock picking is all about, is to travel the distance, to meet with the management team, to listen to a lot of story, but to really distill what is uh, true from what you uh, listen to. Um, and pick the best companies uh, uh, at the end. Taking this conversation, but uh, further, in, and just your views on how you deal with kind of state-owned entities in, in China, and they, have again, have sort of reasonable b bad press in regards to being run for, I guess, not the benefit of underlying shareholders. So just curious on your thoughts on how your process and how your team kind of deals with state-owned enterprises. Well, this is actually interesting because it uh, also touches on how do you invest in these markets? Because many investors actually take the passive approach, or basically they buy into an index product. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, uh, uh, many of these indices are uh, uh, populated by uh, the state-owned enterprises because that is a big part of emerging economies, especially in, in China, mm -hmm. in oil, in utility, in steel making, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Uh, in fact, in most of our portfolio, you won't find much of these large enterprises because we tend to focus on the private enterprises. Uh, uh, State-owned enterprises are very large. They take up a big part of such index, but the growth rate is actually uh, decelerating. And number two, which you pointed out, the alignment of interest between the government and minority shareholders like us is not perfect. The government has its own agenda, and that may not be the best interest of the shareholder. And that's yet another reason why we think that index-based approach to investing in Asia, and particularly China, may not be such a good idea. Where we are uh, very focused on in, in uh, emerging Asia is actually in the consumers, in technology, in healthcare, which tends to be dominated by private enterprises, where founders and very entrepreneurial uh, uh, class of, uh, of business people have started the company and they are actually seeing their market share uh, rise in, in a very, very significant manner.